Hey everybody, it's me Melanie, and I have not done a sit down video talking to y'all in forever, like absolutely forever. But I'm doing a question and answer video today. Um, I'm answering all of the questions that I got. Got my little handy iPod right here, and I am going to go through and answer all the questions. So I hope I answer all of them. All right. So. The first question is, what made you want to start making YouTube videos? How does your family feel about you doing YouTube videos? By the way, I love your videos and you are really pretty. And I was by like PB and 1D Love XS. I, um, I'm going to try to read off the names, but if I don't, I'm sorry. Um, what made me start wanting to do YouTube videos is, I, I thought it was like, a way of like it was like a mini TV almost like and I've always wanted to um, help other people and I thought YouTube would be a perfect way to do that and it was really exciting and I just found out about it and I had to make a channel my first channel was I love Hershey and that's where I made the uh, the music video on there first and then I um, did re Reborn Hobby 16, which is like I made a few months later, and so I love her. She's like my main scoliosis channel from that I started when I was like really little, and then uh, the Reborn Hobby 18 was made. I mean Reborn Hobby 16 was made, and I that was because I just loved Reborns and I thought it would be cool to share my hobby because it was different and I've always liked being different and have never been ashamed of it and I thought that could be a way to help other people and just share my love for uh, my hobbies and stuff and my family feel about me doing YouTube videos they are perfectly okay with it they just don't like seeing the negativity or if it if it's like really bad or something but for the most part they like it and they think it's cool <laughs> okay who is your best friend Maddie's reborn hobby oh um my favorite friend uh, my favorite friend <laughs> no my best friend is Dana she is my best friend and a lot of you guys know that um have you ever had tonsils and androids out Brittany Stiltner um have I uh no, I have not had that, had any of that stuff out, but I am having to get my wisdom teeth out pretty soon, so if you guys want to see a documentary on that, like my little scoliosis, well, my big scoliosis surgery, and then like my little wisdom teeth surgery, I will go ahead and do a documentary on that as well. Um, uh, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Kaylee Myers, or Callie Myers, either one, I don't know how to pronounce the names. And you're really pretty. Thank you guys so much for all the sweet comments. It really means a lot to me. And I have two brothers and four sisters. So there's seven of us all together. And then I have like a lot of brother-in-laws and stuff like that as well. Hey everybody. Alright, so sorry about that interruption. Uh, what's your fa favorite thing about YouTube or make and or making YouTube videos? Who on YouTube do you watch on a regular basis? Um, Laura loves you, O206. Oh, I, uh, my favorite thing is, I don't know, being able to communicate with so many people, you know, like, I mean, whoever can see my videos, whoever will actually look them up and stuff, being able to communicate with people and try to, like, help other people, that's, like, my main reason and everything, it's just to help other people, and I just really, I really like the idea of being able to do that through YouTube and so and meeting all these like new people and just being able to share my story and everything is my favorite part and who on YouTube do you watch on a regular basis I watch the Shaytards on a regular basis and um, a few other channel channels as well uh, I but the Shaytards is probably at the top of the ones that I watch a lot of <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> How old are you and what are your life plans? Pink Jim Girl 24. Is that bad? Um, I am 17. I will be 18 May 30th. And my life plans, what I truly want to do with my life, I want to be a stay-at-home mom, but, like, with jobs on the side, I guess. Like, not a, like, a big career, but, like, 
to be a stay-at-home mom and to get married and to have kids and uh, to be able to homeschool my kids. And uh, I want to somehow use dance as a way to help other people in some way, um, maybe through like opening up a studio for helping people that had surgery or something and that have had problems but they feel like they can't dance anymore but to try and help them and also to um, like people with mental illnesses or eating disorders or something to help them get their feelings out through dance instead of like that and trying to give them different coping mechanisms and so that is one of my main things and I just want to help people with my life that's what I want to do I want to help people so that's my plan for my life and when did you start dance? I started when I was really young. I started at like four or five years old. And I did compete um, when I was younger. So I did, I was in a little competition group for baton and cheer dance and all that stuff. So it was, it was a lot of fun and I miss it a lot. But I got out of that when I was like eight or nine. Or no, it was ten. I was ten. I was ten when I got out of that. <laughs> um... Can you tell me how to deal with scoliosis pain? P.S. I have not have I have not have surgery. Uh, Ashlyn Fleming. Um, to deal with the pain, what I did was try to get my mind off of it, and to take Advil and to pray, and take warm baths and heating pads or ice, depending on which one works for you. And um, I know this is weird, but I would work out and dance when I was in pain because like it strengthened your back muscles and stuff like that so it did help doing that getting up and moving helped my muscles a lot and the pain so dance has helped me a lot with the pain and then Paige Katie 203 said how are you so beautiful what gets you through your day and what inspires you thank you so much you are so sweet all of you guys are so sweet um, what gets me through a day is faith and knowing that everything happens for a reason and that everything will fall into place and be great <laughs> in the ending and stuff. So um, that's what um, gets me through a day is praying, having faith, and believing everything happens for a reason. And being the best person I can be and just smiling even through the negativity. And what inspires me is... What inspires me is my family, my life, I don't know, everything in my life it just inspires me to keep going. And, of course, my faith inspires me to keep going as well. Um, what inspired you to start your Reborn collection and who was your first Reborn? Woo! Christine, Christine's love. Um, what inspired me to start my Reborn collection was uh, I just have always wanted like a realistic doll because I like... I have always had that motherly instinct, and I just thought it would be really cool. And so, I was looking at Ashton Drake ones, but I actually ended up getting a uh, reborn, and I, and that was Gianna, who was my first, and she was a Berninger uh, baby. And then I'm a reborn mom. Said on a bad day, how do you keep yourself happy? What keeps me happy on a bad day? Um, because I. Working where I work now, you get a lot of negativity and a lot of mean people because I'm a really happy and positive and outgoing person. People make fun of me for that and they think it's weird and that I'm too nice. And so I get made fun of for that at work all the time. But on a bad day, what keeps me happy is knowing that I, I didn't do anything wrong. I'm just a happy person. I am who I am. Having faith and just knowing that everything happens for a reason once again. And just really believing in yourself knowing that like being secure and knowing yourself and where you want to go with your life um cc's journey 98 how did you react when you first found out about scoliosis did you have doubts about the surgery what's the good and bad of doing school online how did scoliosis change your life um when how i reacted when i first found out i had scoliosis was okay What's that? You know, like, I didn't know, and then I found out, and I'm like, oh, whatever, you know, it's not a big deal. And then they told me that it was really bad, and I had to go to see a specialist, and it was, like, idiopathic, and 
I've had it ever since a really, really young age. Like, it's just been progressing. And I was eight years old when I found out. So I was, like, really young and didn't know much about anything. So they brought me to a specialist. And that's when my journey started. And, um, yes, I had plenty of doubts about the surgery. I didn't want it. I was forced into it because I, I was just so scared. But then I started praying and just having faith that I knew this was what was going to happen in my life. I knew this was for the best and that I can overcome it and I can do this and I can be able to help other people through it. And that's what got me through it. Um, what's the good and bad of doing school online? What's good is that you get to have a lot more free time and you get to do it whenever you want to and you get to dance and work when you want to and work out when you want to. And the bad is that you, it's sometimes hard to get yourself to do it and like to get the motivation to want to do it and it can be harder because you don't have like a teacher really teaching you so that's the pros and cons uh how did scoliosis change your life scoliosis has changed my life completely if i had not been diagnosed with scoliosis i don't even know where my life would be right now because everything i do everything that i am right now is because of scoliosis and I know that sounds extreme but it's the truth um, scoliosis is one of the reasons I uh, had really bad OCD one of the reasons why I care so much one of the reasons why I want to help other people so much one of the reasons why I had an eating disorder one of the reasons why I was body dysmorphic for so long you know like it's just all these factors all pushed together and it just changed my life completely and without it I don't even know who I would be <laughs> but um I not in a negative way though because I'm very happy with the person I turned out to be right now and I'm happy that I can use all of the scoliosis and everything to help other people and it just it's really put me in the right direction in my life where I want to go and to show me that I am strong enough and I can deal with anything and God is here for me. It brought me closer to God. My relationship with God has gotten stronger and everything. And so sclerosis has completely, completely changed my life. And if you want, I can make a separate video on that because it's hard to explain just how much it has really affected my life. Um, who are your best friends? Uh, Dana is my best friend, and uh, I, I I have a few other close friends, but Dana's my best friend. Um, do you want children when you're older? How many? Pho Phoebe uh, Glitter. Uh, I want, I do want kids when I'm older, and I do want, like, at least four of them. I really want kids, and I really, I, I just have, like, a big motherly instinct, and I really want to have them. <laughs> Uh, what's the best decision? Ugh, I can't talk. Emmy B. Eleven says, "What's the best decision you have ever made?" Um, the best decision I have made was to start YouTube and to help other and to start helping other people, and to be brave and to choose recovery from everything, to choose recovery from my eating disorder and OCD and all of that that I've been through to be able to overcome it and everything that has definitely been my greatest decision that I've done and then now using it to help other people so it's I'm very happy with that um loco girl 01 and of course my surgery <laughs> that one was a big one uh do you still have reborns yes I do and which ones do you still have and I have Abby and she's back there and uh yeah she's my one little girl right now and I eventually might get another one but right now I'm focusing on getting a car getting college and all that stuff I had to set my priorities straight <laughs> and then Brianna Campbell says what's most important to you in your life right now from Brianna uh what's most important to me is helping other I know this is weird everything's about helping other people but really trying to help other people because I know what it's like to be at a very low point in your life and I want to help people I want to make people smile I want to make people happy I want to help them through that rough time that they may be going through and it's just something that I'm very passionate about and what also is really important in my life right now is dance 
I've been working really extremely hard and thankfully to God I was able to move up in ballet and jazz and everything so I'm able to move up and I skipped like three levels to get there you know and it just is so 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 touching to me and I thank God every day for it so it's something that I definitely want to use in my life um, as a way to help other people all right uh, Tough Bananas Jack, what type of music do you like? I like Christian pop music. I'm really into Brit Nicole. I love her. She's my favorite um, Christian artist. And then like Casting Crowns, I like them too. And Mercy Me. Um, Christian uh, pop music. And then just pop music. <laughs> and da good dance music. Country music. I like that too. Uh, Caitlin Reba Phrase, do you still nanny? No, I don't. I have a job at Kmart now, and it's an okay job. It just has its cons and pros, like everything in life. Um, how long have you been collecting Reborns, and what do you want to go to college for? I have been collecting Reborns ever since I was 13, and I'm 17 now, so however long that is. <laughs> three years, I think? Or maybe a little... Uh, it's been over three years, so... Um... And I want to go to college for probably physical therapy or um, psychology. So one of the two. It, but it'll be like a minor in it because I really want to own my own business to help other people in like a dance or something. Um, Cookie777777 seven, 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 seven. said, What's the meanest comment you have ever gotten on a video or in real life about your reborns? Um, I've had some terrible comments like that I'm mentally crazy and I need to go to the hospital because I'm so messed up and that I'm morbid and I've had people physically like attack me over it and hate me for having a reborn but um how I dealt with it was just smile and said okay I mean there's not much I can do if you don't like me that's okay because I like me <laughs> all right can you do a scoliosis update video? Gymnastic Lover 96. Yes, I actually really do want to do a scoliosis update video where I really go into detail about everything that's been going on with my back and everything to help other people. So I hope to get around to do that pretty soon. Uh, Joey Kim at on July 31st, 2013, did you have a video with a girl? Who is it? Does she have a YouTube channel, channel or maybe Facebook or Instagram? I don't understand that question, so I don't know if I can answer that. Um, Cameron Page, what is your favorite thing to do with Dana? Be crazy, dance, make videos, just have fun together. Talk about boys, we do that a lot. Uh, Joe Kim, do you have an Instagram? Yes, I have an Instagram. It's Scoliosis Dancing Melanie, and I will put the, not the link below, but I'll write it down below so you guys can hear it, or hear it, <laughs> so you guys can hear it, so you guys can see it. And I have a Facebook, too. I have a Reborn Facebook. Um, reborn, Reborn Hobby. And then, um, how do you stay positive when so much is happening? Daily Diabetic 101. Um, how do I stay positive? Once again, is having faith and hope and love and just trying to stay strong and believe that everything will turn out for the best and that everything I'm going through I can try to help other people with it and by staying positive is always better than being negative because staying positive can help you through so much more than being negative can and it's just it's just so much better to be positive than negative. Um, I've learned that because there were times where I would be a little negative, but then I decided that's not what I wanted to do with my life. I wanted to be positive. I wanted to be happy. I want to change other people's lives, and I want to help people in every way possible. So I hope that I can do that. So I guess I do have a cold, so if I sound, like, different, it's because of that. Uh, but yeah, and you guys can be looking forward to seeing more videos, and I've been working like crazy lately and dancing like crazy, so that is why there hasn't been too many up, but there will be more, and I love you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope I got everyone's question, that was all the ones that were on there, so yeah, bye guys.